Hello, truth seekers, and welcome back to our channel, where we unveil the shocking truth behind the glamorous world of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our channel. Alrighty now folks, grab your teacups and clutch your pearls, because your friendly neighborhood critic is about to spill some absolutely explosive royal tea. Today we're talking about Princess Eugenie being caught playing both sides of the fence, and let me tell you, Prince William is not having it. But before we delve into further discussion if you haven't subscribed I mean common guys what are you waiting for? Hit like, subscribe and that notification bell asap. So now, first of all, can we just take a moment to process this absolutely shocking betrayal? Princess Eugenie, who has enjoyed all the privileges of being a royal family member, is apparently acting as some sort of double agent for the Sussex squad. And now she's even got a starring role in their latest drama, The Great Portuguese Property Purchase. Let me tell you something, my faithful viewers, this isn't just about real estate. This is about loyalty, betrayal, and the kind of family drama that would make Shakespeare say, oh, maybe dial it back a bit. Because while William and the rest of the senior royals are dealing with actual serious issues, Eugenie's out there playing best friends forever with a dynamic deal of destruction. And can we talk about the timing? While Catherine is bravely battling cancer, while King Charles is dealing with his own health challenges, while the actual working royals are getting on with their duties, Eugenie's helping Harry and Meghan establish their European base of operations. It's like she's setting up a forward operating base for their next attack on the monarchy. Christopher Anderson, who clearly has a front row seat to this royal circus, says Eugenie has managed to maintain a positive relationship with her uncle King Charles, despite her ties with the Sussexes. Well, butter my crumpets and call me surprised. Looks like someone's learned the art of playing both sides. But let me tell you something, you can't serve two masters, especially when one of them is Meghan Markle. The really shocking part is how Eugenie has apparently forgotten what Harry and Meghan have done to her family. Let's review the evidence, shall we? First, there was the Oprah interview where they basically accused the royal family of everything short of causing global warming. Then came the Netflix series, which Eugenie actually appeared in. Talk about poor judgment. And finally, the Coupe de Grasse, Harry's book Spare, which should have been titled How to Destroy Your Family Relationships in 400 Pages or Less. And now, what's Eugenie's response to all this? She's helping them set up shop in Portugal. It's like watching someone invite the arsonist who burned down your house over for a barbecue. Has she completely lost her mind? Or is this some sort of Stockholm Syndrome situation? Let's talk about William for a minute, because I can just imagine his reaction to all this. Here's a man who's been systematically betrayed by his own brother, watched his wife be attacked in the press by his sister-in-law, and now he's got to deal with his cousin playing secret agent for Team Sussex. No wonder he's boiling mad. And you know what really gets me? The sheer audacity of this move. Eugenie was actually the first royal family member to meet Meghan when Harry started dating her. Talk about being there at the scene of the crime. She literally helped introduce the woman who would go on to cause more drama in the royal family than all the seasons of The Crown combined. But here's what's really fascinating, and by fascinating, I mean absolutely infuriating, about this whole situation. The article mentions that no one wants to run afoul of the King and Prince William. It's that simple. Well, apparently nobody told Eugenie that memo. She's out there playing both sides like she's auditioning for the royal version of Mission, impossible. And let's think about what this means for the future of the monarchy. William, our future king, is trying to modernize the institution, trying to maintain its dignity and relevance in the 21 saint century. Meanwhile, his cousin is basically providing aid and comfort to the very people who've been trying to tear it all down. It's like she's forgotten which team she's supposed to be playing for. The purchase of this Portuguese property isn't just about having a European base. It's about maintaining a foothold in royal circles through Eugenie. It's a calculated move by Harry and Meghan, who've probably realized that burning every bridge might not have been the best long-term strategy. And Eugenie. She's either incredibly naive or incredibly crafty, and I'm not sure which is worse. What really makes my blood boil is how this must be affecting William and Catherine. They've been nothing but gracious and dignified throughout all the Sussex drama, continuing to serve the public while dealing with personal challenges that would break lesser people. And now they've got to watch as a family member essentially validates all of Harry and Meghan's behavior. And let's not forget, this is the same Harry who wrote a tell-all book attacking his family. The same Meghan who's been playing the victim card, 
so much it's probably worn out. And yet Eugenie is still standing by them? Make it make sense, people. It's like she's watched everything that's happened and thought, you know what would be great? Getting involved in this mess. The article mentions that Harry and Meghan are very grateful for the loyalty Eugenie has shown. Well, of course they are. They're probably grateful for anyone who's still willing to associate with them after their scorched earth campaign against the royal family. But gratitude from the Sussexes is like a chocolate teapot. Sounds nice, but ultimately useless and messy. So what's next in this royal drama? Will Eugenie continue her tightrope walk between two worlds? Will William finally put his foot down? Will Macon start selling jam in Portugal? Only time will tell, my dear viewers, but one thing's for certain. This betrayal won't be forgotten anytime soon. And you know what really breaks my heart about all this? The damage this is doing to William. Here's a man who's already lost his brother to the Sussex saga, and now he's watching as another family member apparently chooses Team Harry and Meghan. It must feel like death by a thousand cuts. But here's what Eugenie needs to remember. William isn't just her cousin, he's the future King of England. And while she's playing happy families with the Sussexes in Portugal, William's preparing to lead the monarchy into the future. She might want to think very carefully about which side of history she wants to be on. This is your friendly neighborhood royal critic, signing off with one final thought. While Eugenie might be trying to keep a foot in both camps, sometimes you have to choose a side. And when one side is trying to destroy the very institution that's given you everything, maybe the choice should be a bit clearer. Stay tuned, my loyal subjects, because something tells me this Portuguese property saga is just the beginning of a whole new chapter in the royal drama. Keep those notification bells on, your teacups full, and your loyalty unwavering, because in this game of royal thrones, you're either with the monarchy or against it. God save the king, God bless Prince William, and God help Eugenie, because when this all blows up in her face, she's going to need all the help she can get. Until next time, keep calm and carry on watching this royal drama unfold. Until then, my fellow royal watchers, keep your eyes peeled, your ears open and your skepticism firmly in place. Because in the world of royal watching, the truth is often stranger than fiction, and the fiction is pretty darn strange to begin with. Thanks for watching, we'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Bye for now.